it's medium jenny lee you're getting ready to watch a full twitch stream the only things that have been edited out are the starting soon screen and any be right back screens that came along the way when any breaks were taken for your convenience i've gone through and put timestamps in if you happen to have gotten a reading that night you will be able to go back and find your reading and watch it again this is so helpful and beneficial to be able to go back and listen to and watch your readings over and over again as many times as you need to if you didn't get a reading that evening or you've never even joined us on twitch what in the world are you waiting for the link for that is down in the description box below if you want to browse specific topics that have come up for the evening those are also listed as keywords in the time stamps if you are interested in receiving a personal reading from me please visit my website the link is down in the description box as I offer a variety of different readings, tarot videos, past life videos. You can also schedule a personal medium reading, which would be available through Google Meet. If you have not already, go check out my coffee membership subscriptions. There are a variety of different kinds that feature all kinds of wonderful opportunities for you to get readings and other things. Other than the reading streams offered on Twitch and the personal readings, and the coffee subscriptions there are other ways for you to get readings from me one of them is the small group medium reading these are offered on a monthly or bi-monthly basis and you can purchase tickets for those through eventbrite that link will also be down below these are limited to eight people they are offered through my discord server the link for that is also down in the description I also offer a variety of classes that take place monthly or bi-monthly, including mediumship, chakras, past lives, etc. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this and any other of my YouTube videos that you have enjoyed. It is very much appreciated. And without further ado, I hope that you enjoy this Twitch stream from the past. I love that you guys are fighting over who got here first. It's wonderful. <laughs> hey. How we doing? I was, I was thinking for a minute I wasn't going to make it. Yeah. It was weird, Keisha, because it wasn't really a concert. It was like... A pre-assessment concert and because she's in the middle school they did one song and then they had to like practice sight reading and that was pretty much it um, the high school on the other hand had like all four of their different concert choirs performing and they each got to do three songs so um, which was kind of cool because, you know, I got to see a lot of my students, past and present, and they were very good. But my actual child, um, I only got to see her do one song. And only nine kids showed up from her performance choir, <laughs> so it was like, I don't know. I mean, I don't even think there's that many kids in it to begin with, but... And then the little one got super tired and cranky, so I had to bring her home, put her to bed. And I don't even think Frosty and um, and our middle child are home yet, so mm. I was afraid I wasn't gonna make it on here. <laughs> uh, but I'm doing well, and I hope that you guys are also doing well. Yeah, I have my Gris my Gryffindor scarf. I sold it from my my little child because she has a Harry Potter costume. <laughs> yes, I can turn the music down. Sure can. A sneaky bit. Yeah. Only one. I only got to see her do one song. Okay. Alright. Let's get started here. Hogwarts. Like guys, let me know if this volume's too loud for the game. I turned it down quite a bit, but if it's still too loud, let me know. Oh, flying books. Hi, hoaxers. 
Hi, Luce. I just got on, like, right at 8 or something. <laughs> yeah, my Discord is, like, stopped working with notifications. I don't know. Here's uh, Harriet Potter. <laughs> she looks like a female, female Harry Potter. Okay. I had just finished the tutorial last time we played, and I had just got to uh, the Gryffindor house, I guess. So, see what happens here. Eight minutes late, yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be me, but it kind of looks like a female Harry Potter. <laughs> okay. This game is so pretty. I don't remember how to do anything. It was like a week ago. OMG. That's cool. Like a young Hermione. Yeah. The curly hair. I can see that. Did it do anything? The playing music? I guess so. Hmm. Drawings with a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> it's Harriet Potter. Quidditch posters. It's cute. It's cute. So cute. Okay. Well, looks like there's only a door here. She walks pretty slow. Can I go out the door? Like, um, what do you do? I need to head to my common room. Follow the voices. I'm lost already. <laughs> hey, Frosty. Sit on your throne of lies. Yeah, we're trapped in this room forever. Hi, Terra Mama. Hi, Linguist. Hi, Wild Librarian. Washing off all the negative energy in the shower. Where'd you pick up all the negative energy? Needed a lot of time today. Okay, how do I get out of here? Can I open the door? Hmm. I can bust a hole through the door. <laughs> I can't just reach out and grab the handle. drink somebody's tea. That's gross. <laughs> I don't know where that's tea. that tea has been. Tea could have been anybody's tea. Mmm, apples. Just keep walking into it and it'll open. <laughs> or I could just bust it open with a wand. Oh, goodness. Ten minutes now, late. Which way is the common room? Today hit the jackpot. Haven't been as mad in quite a while. Oh, linguist, I'm sorry. Just have to keep. Okay, yeah. Somebody else came in. Right? Oh, Michael. Hi, Michael. She like her jiggity jog down the stairs. 
little jiggity jog down the steps. Mm. The moving portraits. Somebody's waving to me over there. It's so pretty. There's so many places to go. Jiggity jog, jiggity jog, jiggity jog. Are they talking about me? How dare they? Wand blast sounds like a Slytherin move. <laughs> Trying to get through this Virgo BS shift. I'm doing okay. Hoaxers made a coloring page? I need to see this said coloring page. Hi diddly ho there ladies. I heard you gossiping about me already. But you can't talk to my face. Hmm? Hmm? What does that little symbol mean? Somebody needs to clean the trash can out. Good lord. They're locking in an end office dragon pool. It's like that poor man from the ministry. I can't imagine starting a musical this late. A little room, everyone. Let's go. Everybody's talking about me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotta find people. Apparently, she's not one of them. I hope a professor catches her this time. Don't want any word the born first with day. Wings. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> Here's somebody. Still not working. Ugh. Oh, the paintings are so cool. It's in Discord. Okay, cool. It's a free coloring page from Zena Color, and I post it on a creative channel on my Discord. Thank you, hoaxers. Hey, Fluffcha. How is you? Wait, that's not right. I really thought I had it. Hey, diddly ho there. Haven't you ever seen The Simpsons, Gigi? I know you're from across the pond, but you do know Ned Flanders, right? <laughs> I like most mostly talk about the dragon ride. Oh, what did I do wrong this yes, time? Yes, it is. It's so pretty. Okay, let's talk to this chick. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Looks like we could be sisters. Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Apparently, I'm Harriet Potter. The theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? You is good. Good, Fluff. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, Hi, yes. Maggie! How I'm are you? trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a You guys bit let me know trickier. if the game is too loud. The game is very pretty. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor awesome. Thanks, is hoaxers. sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle. Oh, good lord. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. I'm not drinking alcoholic beverage this evening, by the way. This is just sparkling grape juice. My character's using AI text-to-speech. <laughs> not sure which house I'm in. Mmm, Maggie. You feel like a Ravenclaw to me. 
Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Looks like you're in middle school. Enjoy schoolers. your first day. <laughs> Put the wine glass down. <laughs> it's really like, for some reason, we bought a bottle of champagne and a bottle of sparkling grape juice for New Year's Eve, and we never used it. Like, it just sat in the refrigerator. So I decided I was going to start drinking it today. Because why not? Who does Nelly think she is, anyway? I enjoy Nelly. having Nelly born with wings, Nelly. I'm sure you've used them. <laughs> Nelly. Anything for attention. What is she doing? Oh. She was up there. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Couldn't even see her. Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. One too Once many glass. I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower. Have, you have one glass, outside, too many glasses. Without <laughs> a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, yes. by the way. Feeling Nelly fancy. Oxfire. Especially with my Gryffindor skull on. <laughs> Is it true? Yes. About the dragon? Hold the pinky. Uh, it was terrifying. It's true. And I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape yeah. our lives. Yeah, Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff sounds good, you. Maggie. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But still, you got to see a dragon. I anyway, get to see a dragon eat somebody. Some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Mm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. <laughs> My Poof mother souffle. always found me on the roof when I was five. <laughs> Still has no idea how I got there. <sighs> but That's with all great. the strange hallways and rooms in the castle... And everything lurking Lovely in pet, and yeah. outside the grounds. You don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Say it, but can't speak about it. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Bye, Nelly. Jumping up on the fireplace. Pick Star Trek. We need a pole. Pole for what? What should we make a pole about? That guy looks kind of like a young Benjamin Franklin up there. It's a, f a funny looking monkey on the tapestry. You'll like it, trust me. Look at this little dude. He's so tiny. Right, last sure guy. Want to try it? Brewed it myself. Star Trek Picard is actually Hello. good so far. You're the new fifth year. Yeah, we just started Pleased watching the. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels the last here. Season? Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig were all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, oh Weasley. Uh, yes, a friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Weasley. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Yeah, season three. Are you related to yep, Professor Weasley? we just Weasley? started watching it. I am. She's my aunt. And I fell asleep during the last episode, because I fell asleep during everything we try to watch. 
A griffle puff? That's cute. See a raven and crows all the time. Cool. Did we start season two? Oh, we just started season three. Oh, never mind, Gigi. I was saying the wrong thing. Pardon me. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. This Weasley has nice hair. You haven't started watching it yet, Keisha. It's good. I like it. The card, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Sign to start connecting with Morgan. Oh yeah, the Ravens and Crows. Hi, Amber. It's not wine, Keisha. <laughs> oh, a poll for what house are you in? That's what you guys are doing. So three are in Ravenclaw, two are in Gryffindor, two are in Hufflepuff, one's in Star Trek. Nobody's in Slytherin. <laughs> oh, so funny. So funny. Watch Iron Man 2. I was snoring by an hour in. Yeah, I, I have a hard time watching anything all the way through anymore, Gigi. I'm always tired. You have wine somewhere. I have a bottle of champagne, but I didn't think I should drink it tonight. It's only Tuesday, you know. So let's drink the fake champagne. <laughs> Keisha knows what I'm drinking. <laughs> Where did my mouse go? There we go. Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity yeah, no as much as Yeah, no Slytherins here, think. except I accidentally got Slytherin. <laughs> Should always have a celebration ready. Should create drinks for each house. That sounds fun, Maggie. Where are you going, hoaxsters? <laughs> I've been watching too many Elmo and Kermit funny videos. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And Gareth Weasley. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Kids got a lot of books. The guy fell off the wall. Guy looks oddly familiar. She just keeps clapping and clapping and clapping. Professor Weasley. Down here? No, this way. I find if I try to look. Through the portrait hole. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Ooh, a ghost! I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. Absence you only would be good for Slytherins. Day at yeah. Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining <laughs> us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster so and the cute. Department of Magical Education Professor at the Ministry, Weasley. 
We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Mm, fancy book. What the hell? What is it? It is a wizard's <laughs> field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning what so that you it? master all that's expected of a fifth year. It's a crazy ass book, that's what it is. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? <laughs> Perhaps seeing it in action will answer Keisha, any I like that. you may have. Dancing Walk with your grandmother's pearls in the living room. This way. Sorry, I'm slow. I'm looking at everything. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic. Sir, was that uh, nearly headless Nick floating by? And there's Peeves. I certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. My jiggity jig dig down the stairs. Ah, Hufflepuffs of my tie. Some information for you about that <laughs> painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Huh? Revelio? I want this. Revelio. This portrait depicts the wizard Barifio. She just said it, and I still can't say it right. Famed for his brain elixir, and as an example of what happens when incantations are improperly spoken, he once said F instead of F and found himself on the floor with a buffalo in his chest. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. Oof. Collections. I love it. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience or XP. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from the challenges increases your level and power. Field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Challenge menu to continue. He wasn't rich if he was working on build.com. You didn't see the buffalo sitting on him? You saw something else. <laughs> okay, Maggie, seen a little bit. All right, collecting your first field guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Combat, quest, exploration, room of requirement field guide pages each challenge has tiers special rewards unlocked to each tier you complete from appearances to critical upgrades collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts and I get some new glasses some spectacles rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked Love a good collection quest. Collecting all the stuff. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Thanks, Professor Weasley. That lady was terrifying. If you have good energy to send up a difficult family meeting tomorrow morning, I need the universe no energy of waste. care and gentle and kind. Everybody send Maggie lots of good, positive, warm, loving energy to help her get through her difficult meeting tomorrow. We love you, Maggie. Ah, 
Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Blue flames. Your field guide contains oh, a map that's of what the that castle. Was. Open it up and find Central Hall. You can discover a flue flame. That's what I saw earlier. I was trying to figure out what it was. Remember the map at any time to travel, fast travel to any discovered flue flames. Hogwarts is divided two main areas. The left of the map is where the students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the Great Hall. Select the South Wing region to continue. In this view, you can see the flue flame available in that region. Green flue flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower library and greenhouses. Select the library annex to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use A, D to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flame. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Flu flame. That's fun to say. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of love to Maggie. And protection. I like that, Keisha. And here love we are. and protection. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Hmm. Ooh. You can get almost That's anywhere a big portrait. in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Jiggity jiggity jig, jiggity jig down the stairs. Always something happening wow. here. It's the heart Ooh, of the heart of the dragon. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. This is so amazing. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms, Charms and, and Defense, Defense Against, against the, the Dark, Dark Arts, Arts class. Today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Charms class. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Defense Against the Dark Arts. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name she implies, just said dumb question. focuses on how to defend <laughs> oneself against the evils. I don't know what to expect. I'm a new a fifth year. Of defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. What's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. Yay. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Yay. You, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to Happily. additional assignments for you. Oh, thanks. Class. You'll be up to speed in no time. <laughs> Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, can wine go Professor off? Fick succeeded in at least showing you the basics. If you drink he enough. Did, He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is or there isn't? There is. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. 
Speak of the devil. Oh, thanks, linguist, Professor for contributing Fig. to the tarot video Your giveaway. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, oh, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Betraying well, Figgy Piggy. <laughs> Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Tell me Professor. what. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very Thank you, well. Luz, for contributing to the Enough Tarot Video Giveaway. I need to get to class myself. What did Might I miss I out on, Linguist? Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map. Of course. Thank you. Is Professor Weasley Good tall, or is Figgy and really short? To use your field guide. It will be what's, what's the deal there? Thank you, Michael, for contributing to the tarot to video giveaway. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've Two a.m. Good today, night, you, Gigi. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us for a little bit. Get a good sleep. We'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. What's up with what? I'm kind of fuzzled. What are you guys talking about? Professor Figgy. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. Snuggles. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, Jealous. I believe the ability you possess <laughs> obliges you to be well trained. We can all snuggle. Happily, you have the benefit Everybody of an gets exceptional snuggles. skilled team of witches Feel and like wizards a dog to pile. guide you. Speaking of dog guides, pile of weirdos, and so that I may avoid another <laughs> not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Why I'll don't you? And have a look. Why don't you, Figgy? You can track available quests on the map. This represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story and unlock new features and grant XP. Defense against the Dark Arts class. The field guide map shows Professor Hecate's classes in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle and I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Attend the Defense of Dark Arts class. Some quests are locked by spell or level requirements. In this ca these cases, you'll need to be your required level, blah blah blah. New spells can be earned by completing the professor's assignments or uh, as quest rewards. Track a quest. Charms class. Defense against the Dark Arts class. So I guess it doesn't matter which one you go to, huh? Aren't they supposed to be at certain times? The map is enchanted Snuggly to help you find your way. Yep. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good Mr. friend. Mr. Ollivander. I shall reach out when I have more information about Must be our like mysterious Must like Mr. Ollivander's now, grandfather focus or Focus on your something? classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Thanks, Figgy. Attend the defense against the dark arts. Oh, I completed a quest. Welcome to Hogwarts. Charmed compass is unlocked. 
charmed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. V. Hmm. So you just keep walking into the doors? Oh yeah, there you go. Hmm. I like the music. Once you get through the beginning parts, you can kind of do whatever you want in a real order through some quests. I'll give you access to new ones. Thank you, Frosty. Mm. It's so pretty. Hmm. I just want to look at everything. <laughs> and stand around and look at everything. I never get anything done. Ooh, look at those eyeballs. Those are creepy. Ooh, stained glass windows. Wow. Begin. <laughs> Sebastian Solos. Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a mm. token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. That's pretty neat. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. 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 A levitation charm. Levioso. <laughs> a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Now, let's try something a little larger. Leviosa. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, now the basic cast. Well done. How exciting. Very good. But the best way to practice is, is by dueling. dueling. Oh, start with let's you go two. with the Slytherin Duelist, guy here. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. First day on the job. We're already getting down to seriousness here. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Protego complicates things. I do enjoy a lively duel. Watch your opponent 
the signs to attack or defend yourself. Use the basic cost when your opponent's guard is down. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Mm, this is fun. I think you'd be getting tired by now. Ass off the table. Can hit him multiple Not times. Bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> the magic is strong in this one. Cause it's Harry Potter. <laughs> I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points, Points to, to Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hecket. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely goblins, goblins. is a mm. different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So. I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Mm. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thanks, lady. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Mm. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. <laughs> Nerdy nerd. I'm going to keep things friendly. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that oh, if you was want quite more spectacle. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Hmm. 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 In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Oh, I guess I did. Be quiet, before, if you huh? like, but I know better. Magic requires I'm intention. Fighting and off of knights in that place. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break Breaking the rules, the rules now, already. Whether it's joining Just a got secret here. dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Luke and Brattleby. If you're interested. Till next time. Yay, another quest completed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Everett. All right, charms class. Side quests are now available.
V. The castle is enormous. Use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me. I don't remember how to do that. V. Oh, I guess that's it. <laughs> All I gotta do is press V. That's it. I love that you can just like spin all the globes. Just go and spin them all. Hmm, that's a crazy painting. She's on fire. She's getting boiled. Ooh. I've always said that travel broadens Blue flame. the mind. Get away from me. Ooh, ghosts. Ah! Chasing him with an axe. <laughs> hmm. This game is amazing. Amazingly amazing. Ooh, three headed dog. Like Fluffy. Three headed dog Fluffy. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to the remind him to finish the lesson. I can never Some of us don't necessarily want child. him to get back to the lesson. I prefer to study in the library. It's always much too loud. <laughs> Let's go, charms class. Um. Charms yeah. time. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> there he is. Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks. It's very animated. Page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, it's pretty much what it feels like to be a, a teacher. Summoning charm. <laughs> hmm? hmm. Nobody knows well, anything. Nobody remembers it seems that anything. We are in dire need of review. Everyone, get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. Oh, apparently I missed them all. <laughs> it's like an X and an X and an X. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. Apparently, you don't have to be very I good at that. I see a uh, lot of potential, but remember, hitting the marks there. Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <laughs> Mini quest have a spell or level? Oh, I can read the hint. Appearance of any gear can be altered in the gear menu. Frosty was just showing me that the other day can change what your gear looks like, which is kind of cool. Ah, 
I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Joyful chirp. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Hmm, thanks. Huh? Appreciate it. <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Mm, now, sure. I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. Yeah. That's it! Ah, uh, fella. Excellent control there. Splendid! Nice. Woo. Only one fell off. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. <laughs> but there's certainly Magic no dodge sport ball. in playing without some friendly competition. Those balls would Miss look like they would be majorly damaging if you were dodging challenge? them. Come on up. Yeah, You'll release it early enough. Just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. What? What's happening? That is how it's done. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, I had to wait for my turn. Nice. That's it. Tied. There we go. Woo. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Like ten pound medicine balls. Like they'd be more than ten pounds. Yes. Bam! A perfect score. Remarkable. That's right. Got it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> oh. I think we are well past interesting at this point. Slidey boxes. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Mm. Watch this. Nice job, Natty. That is how it's done. Nice. Tying it Excellent up. Control there. Tied again. This is fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Splendid. Bam. 
Damn. Tied. We're tied. Play Summoner's Court for hours. <laughs> Very good, both of you. Well done. I ran out of my fake wine. Mm, so sad. Onto the water. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. That was fun. A tight game. It turns out we were evenly matched. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. She's nice. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway Frosty around the world. Frosty was just telling me about this school character. In a new country. <laughs> is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out mm. of the mountainside. Let's I remember go. the first time I saw it, <laughs> the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous Let's get a port key. Let's that go. seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. <laughs> Michael, I don't skip anything. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> An expansion, yeah. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. Porky. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. I want her to be my Thank BFF. You for I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. We're going to be BFFs, ah, me and her. I think Professor Ronan wants to me talk to you. Me and Natty. Better not keep him waiting. <laughs> Until next time. Yeah, linguist, so I skip and everything. You can use Akio. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Who's this fella? Professor Ronan reminds me of a my Duncan grandfather. Hobhouse. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Come on, you can keep walking. You can do it. Look at all those books! You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? And what a close match between you and Miss Onai. Invigorating. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. I like his hat. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Mm, I'm sure all these teachers are really excited to be having to come up with extra lessons. <laughs> I know I would be. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Samantha Dale. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. 
You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. Hello, <laughs> My oh thanks. William would tell you not to be so Thank humble you, and tall to trust Devin. your abilities. I saw that from my little child. He tends to be she has a Harry Potter well, costume. Well, better see to my charms homework. I would have stolen the hat too. I, I just don't think it fit on my big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can wear the uh, the uh, cloak either. I think it's a little bit too small. Too small for me. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Weasley after class. Professor Weasley wants to see me. I guess we should go see that. Transfiguration Courtyard. Okay. Yes. Oh, I guess I need to track the quest. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Map. Track it. Track it, track it, track it. <laughs> Now I can do V. Woo! Where the hell did it go? Oh, down the stairs. Is this Draco Malfoy? Oh, it's the wrong era. <laughs> There's no Draco Malfoy. I really am kind of sad that like certain characters aren't here, like Hagrid. Wouldn't it be so great? Go outside and go see Hagrid. Hmm. That guy must be have some tuberculosis. Somebody get him some fresh air. He's got the consumption. Ooh, that's a cool stained glass window. Nice. Always some poor fella carrying a bunch of stuff around. <laughs> Ooh, look at that one. Ooh. This is so gorgeous. I could just spend the whole time looking at stuff. Okay, doors. I don't have to bust the door open. I just keep walking. There we go. Flu flames. Ooh, I just accidentally ran into a flu flame. Handy resource nice. indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Oh, she was talking to me. <laughs> so what's going on? There's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, kitty. <laughs> <laughs> is Professor Weasley a, what about a, the a room, bush out there? Professor? I was thinking the same Hello, self. Thing. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse Deke. He's cute. Ah, there you are. She's got cat paintings. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Mm, she's going to try to pry some information out of me. There's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told I won't me. give up. Uh, I won't uh, give any information this time. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Mm, yes, you did. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily. Momentarily. To your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. 
Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Yay. You've managed your classes well so with a excited. borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Okay. Hmm. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon mm -hmm. Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly Yay. skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else. To I like it too, wand. wild librarian. It's so beautiful. This is only my second time playing it. And I like it. I like it. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients. J. Pippin's. Although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. Mm. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Huh. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration uh -huh. magic. Uh -huh. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. Mm. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh -huh. Natty's gonna be my BFF. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any Yay. of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Victor the rather Rookwood. unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including mm -hmm. his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No Brookwoods time to waste. Are some of the, the sooner you complete your work. One of them the was the death one of the death eaters. The three broomsticks. Yay. Another quest completed. Okay. So let's look at this. Let's look at this. Reward Reparo. Like me to speak with him about additional assignments. Report and I'll learn Reparo. Speak to Luke and Brattleby, the secret dueling club. And visit visit Hogsmeade. Okay. What is the okay. I don't have any more of these collecting thingamajiggers. Oh yeah, the challenge field guide pages. Appearances, enemies, potions and mag magical plants, traits, wand handles, conjurations, ingredients, brooms, and beasts. Ooh. You can collect beasts? Holy moly. Wow. The owl post. No owl post. Sweet. This is so cool. Level two. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments can types of quests given to you by Hogsmeade professors. The one completed reward you with new spells. Reparo. Okay, so um, I'm gonna let you guys choose what we do next. So we can do. Um, we have four. We're gonna have four options. Let's see. Can I, like, get my mouse off of here? Alright. Let's do a poll. 
Okay. New pole. What are we going to do next? What to do so we can um, do Ronan's assignment. We can go to Hogsmeade. We can uh, go do the dueling, the dueling club. Or we can give uh, Hogwarts a break for the evening and we can do some Moonology card readings. Because tonight's a full moon in uh, full moon in Virgo. If you haven't, if hopefully if it's not cloudy where you are, hopefully you've been able to go out and see the moon because I know when I got to see it earlier, it was absolutely amazing. Okay. We're going to do two minutes. What are we going to do next? Ronan's assignment, Hogsmeade, Dueling Club, Moonology, Oracle card readings. There goes the poll. What to do next? Chickity chick. I did and I knew shit was coming. <laughs> Your manifesting worked. Okay, we got one vote for Hogsmeade, one vote for Moonology cards, two votes for Moonology cards. Cast your vote in the poll now. What are we going to do next? Four choices. Three are continuing in the Hogwarts game, and one is going to do some readings. So far, there's three votes for the Moonology cards, two votes for Hogsmeade. Oh, thanks, Wild Librarian. <laughs> I appreciate that. You're running out of time, people. If you want to vote, what are we doing? Oh, one person wants the Dueling Club. Ah! So far, the Moonology cards are winning. Tick tock, tick tock. Da, 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 da. da, 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 da. da, 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 da. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be doing Moonology Oracle card readings. Three votes for the oracle cards. Elevator music. It's the Jeopardy theme. It's the Jeopardy thought song. All right. Moonology cards have won. So we 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 got we got pretty. You know, I don't. I wouldn't. I won't say that we made it far in the game, but we got through two classes. We got some quests done. I got to run around and see this amazing, beautiful game, and. Um, we'll play it again i'm gonna play it some more hopefully i can find some time to play it some extra like stream some extra nights of hogwarts oh you don't watch tv you've never seen jeopardy you are missing out especially somebody with a librarian in their name that's all trivia okay how do you get out of this game <laughs> Settings. Save. Save, load, and exit. Save. Save. Okay. Been playing for one hour, all the total one hour. That's not too shabby. In the Transfiguration class. Okay. Saved. All right. Are you sure you want to exit? We saved 18 seconds ago. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> All right, people. Oh, look at that. Ah! Ah! Craziness. Craziness. Okay, I can take these off. Woo! 
Good times, good times. Oh, you have no TV reception where you live. Oh, yeah. Well, you might enjoy Jeopardy if you ever get to watch it, Wild Librarian, because it's all trivia. And in, I don't know who's on it now, but um, Alex Trebek was the uh, was the host forever and ever, and and uh, he was lovely. You're welcome. Mm. Okay, we're going to do some Moonology Oracle card readings. So if you would like a reading, um, go ahead and use your channel points. Uh, I should, it should be available. So you can choose a Moonology card for yourself or you can gift one to someone else. The Linguist. Keisha. It's been a while since we've done the Moonology cards. It's been a hot minute here since we've done any Moonology cards. Let me change my stream info here for the end, the end here. So we're doing some uh, Moonology Oracle for channel points. On a full moon. Full moon in Virgo. Nice. Tarot. Would you like a tarot? Okay. We've officially switched over to the tarot, tarot channel. All right. Let's do this. Pineapple pizza is finally ready. You're really going to eat pineapple pizza? <laughs> For reals? You're really going to eat pineapple pizza? I'll eat some with you, linguist. I will eat some pineapple pizza with you. I wouldn't order pineapple pizza for myself, but I would I would I will eat it if somebody else orders it. Oh, Keisha gave one to Frosty. All for you. <laughs> Loose. Ew. <laughs> All right, this first one is for Linguist. What does Linguist need to hear this evening from the Moonology Manifestation Cards? keep saying like a reddish greenish one out of the corner of my eye. All right. Here it is. New moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. That's a nice card. I don't know if I've gotten this one before. I don't remember the look of it. Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Yeah, you said you had a shitty day. A lot of negative today. Simmer down. <laughs> Focus on the positive. <laughs> the way is clear. All you have to do is make sure you enjoy the ride. That should be easy enough as long as you stop worrying and start believing in your own good luck. It's true that life goes in cycles, and this card shows you you are moving in a good luck phase. As Abraham Hicks says, think about what you do want, not about what you don't want. Oh, doesn't that sound familiar? Focus on the positive now. Your manifesting is definitely on track, and the more you can master the art of feeling good, the longer it'll stay that way. This card is an especially good sign for matters related to study, travel, adventure, and the cosmic quest to understand life. Look back and see how far you've come and count your blessings. So just because you had a shit day doesn't mean that you 
that you have to give up on all of your hard won positive going forward momentum that you've had right you've done a lot of work in manifesting the stuff that you want you've been focused on the positive for such a long time and you had one shit day so just let it go you washed it off in the shower release it and keep focusing on the positive yeah that sounded like you needed a reminder for that today <laughs> sounds positively wonderful you got grilled pretty good today oh linguist i'm sorry did you at least get covered in barbecue sauce first <laughs> hey gilded m how are you tomorrow's another day that's right gilded m thank you for contributing to the tarot video giveaway um the next one's for keisha keisha the full moon in virgo is just like a day or, or two you know like the moon doesn't stay in the in a sign for very long like a day or two maybe at the most at the most two we just hit 50 percent on the tarot video giveaway good job guys thank you gilded imp and keisha so you know when to open champagne <laughs> i'm doing pretty good gilded imp I'm doing pretty good much better so far this week but it's only it's only the end of tuesday <laughs> okay what does keisha need to hear today oh apparently you need to hear a lot because like half of the deck fell out let's shuffle this a little bit what does Keisha need to hear today? <laughs> They're getting stuck together. These matte finish cards don't want to slide apart. Okay. Tell her to pick one of 36 cards. Yeah. We have one a number between 1 and 57. Okay. First quarter moon in Virgo. First quarter moon in Virgo. We have a full moon in Virgo right now. Assess the situation. Neat. That's a pretty card, too. All the green. Assess the situation. F this moon. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful moon. Stop, breathe, and take stock. Perhaps you've taken on too much. Now is the time to be reliable and practical. Practical. Laziness is your enemy. Also, don't be too influenced by the crowd and what they're saying. Do you still want what you used to want and as much? If so, are you really going... If so, are you really doing what needs to be done to make your dreams real? Express how you feel. Do it without too much self-criticism or criticism of others. Make an honest inventory about what you... Hold on. Make an honest inventory about where you could do more to manifest your dreams. The energies at play here are a mix of flirtatious and shy, inquiring and hesitant. You need to work them in your favor. This card asks you to be mentally flexible. Whatever challenges you face, your current situation is unlikely to be at a total impasse. Well, that's good to know. It's not a total impasse. Do you still want what you want, used to want and as much? Without too much self-criticism. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello, Serenity of Wynn. How are you? Hmm. I'm taking my Gryffindor scarf off. Save it for next time. Is the full moon supposed to be bad? I don't know. I mean, Virgo's like getting your shit together. It's like organizing stuff. And I don't know what else. <laughs> hey, Serenity of Wind. We're just doing channel point readings tonight. I don't have a cue. Thank you, Luz, for explaining that. I, you, you said it already. And Keisha said it already. <laughs> You meant to say crap, not crowd. Uh, do you ever have a good day during a full moon? 
I mean, they can be a little bit crazy. Full moons can be a little crazy. All right, the next one's for loose. Haven't noticed either way, huh? Very interesting. All right, what does loose need to hear today? Therein lies the problem. <laughs> That's exactly what I got grilled for today, organizing. And you're a freaking Leo. Loose pick a number between one and four. One, two, three, four. Full, moon, full moons make you feel good. Oh, good, wild librarian. I usually don't have issues, but man, it's been something. I've had three family member friends who lost pregnancies in the same week, days before the full moon this time. Wow. My goodness, Keisha, that's awful. Three. Okay. That is awful. Hmm. Ooh, look at this one. I don't think I've ever gotten this card before either. New Moon and Scorpio, go deeper. That's a beautiful card. It's all green. Wow. So I think so far we've only gotten new moons, haven't we? Or have they all been new moons or was one of them a first quarter? New Moon, you're welcome, Keisha. New Moon in Scorpio, go deeper. You're regaining control of a situation that cut deep. You've moved through your fears and can now see where this issue has come from. Now isn't the time to gloss over the facts. Rather, it's time for you to face your darkest concerns and go deeper. Your situation may need to crumble before it can be renewed. Magic is called for. It's crucial to say, stay strong. Sexually, it's time to reach for your true communion with your partner. Financially, this is a blessed time to work with someone on a joint venture. It's time to release a grudge. This card is an especially good sign for matters related to sex, money, or an obsession you've been grappling with. Know that your magic. Clear out negativity to supercharge your manifesting powers. Wow, that sounds like a good card for you, Luce. There's all kinds of stuff it's, re it's referring to in there and talking about. Wow. Crazy card. What are the odds? Yeah. Uh, that one's for Luce. I know it's not my obsession with ducks, chocolate pudding, or Philly cheese sticks. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, this one's for Wild Librarian. Chocolate pudding sounds good. We have some chocolate pudding in the fridge. I might have to eat one before I go to bed. Maybe that was the gas leak and not obsessions. Wild Librarian, you got <laughs> the same card came out for you assess the situation so that there was a first quarter moon in virgo first quarter moon in virgo assess the situation we just read that one so hopefully you heard that one but i'm going to pull another one for you so just remember this one was about uh this was the one that keisha just got what do you really want is it what you want what you used to want and how are you going to manifest it be flexible and your situation might be changing. Okay, but let's do another one since you just got, since Keisha just got that one. What you want, what you really, really want. Chocolate pudding. <laughs> Glad you're not in the office tomorrow. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, so remember, Wild Librarian, you got Assess the Situation was one of your cards, but we're going to read a new one for you, too. First Quarter Moon in Aquarius, Trust the Universe. I feel like somebody just got this one. Didn't somebody? Not tonight, but recently. First Quarter in Aquarius. Trust the Universe. Okay. It's time to release your grip on a situation. 
passion is good, but too much. So there you go. You, the, both of these are talking about a specific situation. Assess the situation and release your grip on a situation. Passion is good, but too much can be manic. Sometimes we feel too much intensely, too much intensity around our dreams because we're scared they won't come true, but that's counterproductive. Live and let live a little. State your intention to the universe, then detach. Trust the universe and see what happens. The tighter your grip now, the more likely you are to lose out. This is doubly true if you've been jealous or had issues to do with sex or money. Avoid. We keep having a lot of uh, spicy cards tonight. <laughs> Avoid trying too hard to influence someone else. If you feel stuck or you're making someone else feel stuck, you need to tread carefully. Sometimes stuck people behave recklessly. When this card comes up, there's a risk that you're being too rigid in your thinking, words, or actions. So and you got to assess the situation, know that it's not at an impasse, and trust that the universe is going to help you work through it. You got two first quarter cards. How interesting. Hi, Charlie's World. And getting the card in there. Getting the card. Yeah. Am I still streaming till 10? Yeah, I'll probably stream till 10, linguists. Yes. For a second, I was like, 10? That's late. <laughs> You're not so trusting at the moment. Yeah. That's probably why that card came up. Okay. So the next one's for Michael. To give some context, I've been feeling sick and irritable the last two days. And today we found out there was a natural gas leak in the office. Holy crap. Well, no wonder you're feeling sick. It's a good thing you're not there tomorrow then. I wonder if I should come on for a few hours. Yeah, I'm only going to stream till 10, or as soon as I get all these readings done. Scared of COVID to infect my son with no immunity. Oh, wild librarian, yeah, that is scary. Well, just take all the precautions, you know, do all your precautions you need to do. And trust that the universe will have your back. Probably need to loosen a little and live, yeah. Find the balance. Find a good balance. Hey, hey, Charlie's World. Hi, Foxy, Roxy, Lou. Oh, thank you, Wild Librarian. You're awesome. All right, so this one's for Michael. Michael. Michael the Mystic. Who? I thought a card was going to fall out. What does Michael need to know today? Oh my god, you guys, I'm at 699 followers. Six, uh, one more person and I'll be at 700. What the hell? Okay, first quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. We've been getting a lot of first quarters, new moons, and a lot of green cards. Green's the heart chakra, people. Release control. First quarter in Taurus. What are you giving away for 700? Or are you waiting until 1, 1K? Maybe I'll wait till 1K. 1,000, I'll give something away. First quarter moon in Taurus, release control. What in your life are you trying just a bit too hard to do? What are you absolutely stuck on? This sounds very familiar. It's like similar to the readings that other people have been getting. <laughs> What are you absolutely stuck on to the point where you won't even entertain other ideas? You need to release your grip on life. Whatever you want, release it to the universe and trust that the universe will come back to you with whatever is for your highest good. This is like the exact same message that Wild Librarian just got, but it's like two cards in one. If you're feeling possessive about someone or something, your challenge now is to live and let live. It is the exact same message. Holy crap. In a financial situation, self-worth is the key. Avoid get-rich-quick schemes. This card brings into a steadfast energy, but it's clashing with another energy that wants to be free. Seed control for best results. Realize that even though you can manifest your life to a great extent, you can't control everything all the time. Karma comes into play as do your deep down beliefs about yourself. 
Wow. Getting a lot of the same kind of messages this evening, people. Everybody's got to loosen up. Loosen up some and trust that things are going to work out. Releasing stuff you can't control. Yep. And love. Love's a good giveaway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Priestess of Wonderland's a super good moon expert, but I don't think she's here right now. But she does a lot of great videos on um, her YouTube channel. She does like weekly moon reports about moon stuff if you're interested in learning about moon stuff. Heart, yeah, the heart chakra. Her heart, hence the heart chakra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One to, yeah, there you go. Keisha's talking about it too. After your reading, yeah. <laughs> If you're feeling possessed, <laughs> your internet's barely good enough to load this stream. Any chance you could ask for me? What were you asking? Um, know the meaning of the first quarter moon. Uh, the first quarter moon is like, it's like, isn't it when, that's after the new moon, right? So it's, you're starting to gain some energy like your new cycle is just starting um there's been like the lull of the new moon and now the energy is building to like work up to the full moon again there's probably more to it than that okay so the next reading is for frosty keisha gifted a reading to frosty so let's see what frosty needs to hear She's got about 14 people in her stream, but you can actually pop in the Discord and add her. She'll see it after the stream, and she loves talking about the moon. She's in the middle of a reading, too. All right, what does Frosty need to know? Frosty gets the same kind of message. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, people. I was just thinking, if he gets that release control card. Frosty! <laughs> I was literally thinking, as I was shuffling the cards, I was like, I bet he needs to hear the release control message. And the damn card fell out. We just got this card. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I did. I did give him the message from the medium class. Yep. So, Frosty, you just got the same message, the release control message. First quarter moon in Taurus. Release control. What are you working too hard to do? What are you stuck on? Got to entertain other ideas and release the grip. What is it that you want? The universe from the universe. Release it and trust that the universe will bring it back to you. What's for your highest good? So since we just read that one, let's get one more for Frosty. You missed some of it. <laughs> you got the same card that somebody just got. Release control. The book is in your house. <laughs> All right, let's see what else Frosty needs to know. Reveal what needs to be seen. Last quarter moon in Scoopio. There you go. There's a, there's a new astrological sign for you. Scoopio. Scorpio. Last quarter moon and Scorpio reveal what needs to be seen. Scoopio. Jesus, take the wheel. All right, let's read this one. But remember, you also got the release control. There are some things that people just don't like to talk about. Drawing this card suggests there's an issue or situation in your life now that might not be easy to air. Or perhaps you feel that you shouldn't air it. That's fine. Now is the time for you to reveal only what needs to be seen. 
Don't feel the need to discuss everything with everyone. Some matters require discretion. The less codependent you are, the better chance you have of getting what you want. There are two forces at play and neither wants to budge. Strong is good, stubborn is a problem. When you no longer feel the need to tell everyone what you're manifesting, you're ready to start manifesting. Oh, I felt that one. I felt it. When you no longer need to tell everyone what you're manifesting, you're, start to, you're ready to start manifesting. So figure out what it is that you freaking want. Release the control over it. And just believe it. Believe it. Yes. Yes. Jesus, take my wheel. <laughs> it's in God's hands now when I quit this shit and do the witching hours every night. <laughs> you actually had a really strong feeling you're going in that direction, Frosty. Oh, Keisha. A house somewhere in the woods and no BS. Simple as that. Yeah, that sounds good. Believe it. You got to figure out what it is you want to believe for it to happen, though. You know what I mean? All right, the next one is Gilded Imp. Gilded Imp. Did somehow, did I turn the alerts off somehow? No, they're on. Are they? Yes. Okay. No. Oh, I don't remember seeing that, that Foxy Roxy followed me. That was nine minutes ago. Tarot Mama shouted me out five minutes ago. Holy moly. All right, so this one's for Gilded Imp. Gilded Imp, look what you got. New Moon in Pisces, attuned to the divine. Mmm. Mm-hmm. If you believe you are gullible, can you look around the world and believe in the goodness of a god who rules it? Oh, Frosty. No wonder you can't manifest anything. <laughs> There's your problem right there. Okay. New moon in Pisces. Let's be at the end. Tune to the divine. You have the opportunity to slip into the flow of life now. When this happens, you want what is happening and what is happening is what you want. Your manifesting is working perfectly. Just make sure that you stay attuned to your higher self and you'll be well on your way to feeling blissfully happy and in tune with your dreams. Meditation is the best way to connect to your higher self, so practice it if you know how or try learning from an online instructional video. Above all else, be kind to yourself and others. This card is an especially good sign for matters related to spirituality, contacting other realms, taking some time out, or dealing with fear. The more you believe that all is well, the more all will be well for you. So I know that you had said previously that you have a hard time meditating, but you keep getting little, um, like, hints and, like, nudges, like, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more, that you need to meditate. <laughs> So you can start connecting to the divine. Um, so maybe, you know, find some time, make some time. I know you're super busy, but uh, to start seeing how you can connect for yourself, you know. I think the time has come, Gilded Imp. The time has come. Give it a shot. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know it was song lyrics. Sounds interesting. As soon as you start loving pineapple pizza unconditionally. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> oh, Luce is not on the pineapple pizza bandwagon. Who are you and what have you done with Frosty? pizza takes priority. I, I would agree with that. Pizza does take priority. 
<laughs> You're just eating trash. <laughs> uh, coleslaw. Oh, I don't care for coleslaw loose. Blah, 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 blah. Only good coleslaw is KFC. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, yeah, give it a try. Give it a try, Gilded Imp. The, un the only good slaw is none at all. <laughs> the Spicy and Lucy gangs have me reading One Truth, One Law, I Am, I Create, and it's really good for anybody interested. Yes. Hello, Kindred. You're welcome, Gilded Imp. So the next one is for Charlie's World. Charlie's World. Here comes your card. Sorry, you're wrong and misinformed <laughs> about the coleslaw. <laughs> I'm on your team. It's you. It's you, Charlie. Ooh. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Full moon and Leo go wild. We just had a full moon in Leo last month. We just played Hogwarts and I was playing Gryffindor. That's the lion. And I am a Leo. Okay. Full moon in Leo. Go wild. There are times when your best bet is manifesting and in life and in life is to throw all your cards up in the air, so to speak, and see how they fall. As tempting as it might be to try to control a situation, holy moly, every freaking message tonight has been about controlling situations. As, as tempting as it might be to control a situation, you'll be better off now if you just release and go a little wild. You'll get an answer to your question soon, so you might as well enjoy the ride. The unexpected thing is that having fun is one of the most powerful ways of manifesting your desires. Distance yourself from arrogant people. Find a balance between having a great time and attending to the people who need you. Worrying about something or someone triggers the law of attraction as much as positive thoughts. So focus on the positive. That was the first card we pulled out tonight. Focus on the positive. We keep getting the same messages over and over tonight, people. Focus on the positive. Don't control stuff. Don't be trying to control situations and people and whatever. Release your grip on stuff. And this one in particular is talking about taking a break and having a little fun. And it'll start helping to switch your brain to some positive thoughts so you can manifest something nice. Yeah, all the control freaks showed up tonight, Charlie. <laughs> Everybody's having a shit fit about coleslaw. <laughs> oh, goodness. Cheesesteak and pudding. <laughs> Meditation practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks left. Looks right. <laughs> Can live with that. Okay, let's see who's next. Um, Kindred, it's your turn. Not a long wait this evening when we're just doing oracle cards. Coleslaw and chili cheese sauce on a German hot dog. Blah! No thank you, Gilded Imp. I'm going to pass on that. Passing on that one. Milwaukee likes coleslaw or cheese chili sauce on a hot dog. Not both. Sauerkraut. Yeah. <laughs> No sauerkraut for me either. Oh, good lord. No slaw with the chili sauce. I would never have a sauerkraut with chili sauce. Everybody's getting hungry. You guys are making me want to vomit all this sauerkraut and coleslaw and... <laughs> Sour, fresh sauerkraut is good with breakfast? Holy moly, you guys are eating some weird shit down there in Aussie land. Wild and free, and you love coleslaw. <laughs> Food wars is a real thing. All right, so this is the card for Kindred. New moon and Aries, go for it. Look at that card. That card is straight fire. 
Wow. We've been getting we've been getting green all night. Green, 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 green. And you just came out here with the opposite, blowing it up with some red. Go for it. Alright, let's read it. New moon in Aries. Okay. Almost there. Here it is. This card heralds good news, opportunities abroad, and no, not abroad. Opportunities abound, and the outlook is positive. Go through the doors that are coming open to you. There's every reason to believe you'll create what you want if you feel a long way, even if you feel a long way from your goal. Keep going and be courageous. Chase your dreams with childlike enthusiasm and expect your desires to be satisfied. Don't sit around making plans. Do take action. This is crucial. Chase your goal. Believe in divine timing. In love, make the first move if you dare. Financially, be proactive. This card is especially a good sign if you need more courage or determination or you're chasing someone or something. Be driven, determined, take action, and ditch faint-heartedness. Just frickin' go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Sauerkraut is spicy slaw. Spice of life. Oh, goodness. Got on a crazy ride of about cabbage and cabbage, cabbage inspired foods this evening. <laughs> oh, goodness. What a phrase. Sounds more like scary every time I reread it. Doing one reading for an hour. <laughs> Fly through the cards. I think we need to come up with an alert with a sound for linguist when hers goes over more than an hour and a half. <laughs> Partial to kimchi. Uh, what's your issue with slaw and kraut? Uh, need a broader palate. It's not like I haven't tried it. And actually, I will eat coleslaw like on a barbecue sandwich sometimes. If I get it, I'll put it on there. But, mmm. I'm not a big fan of cabbage inspired things like chicken nuggies. Kimchi fried rice. That sounds pretty good. You go with my long readings for as long as I want. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Leo one was in red, too. You're right. Mayo and slaw. Kraut is more the smell. Makes me sick. Explains everything. Chicken nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for chicken nuggies. You even have a pillow that says my only love with a picture of them. That's hilarious. Two readings and two hours leads to forgetting cards on long lines, and that's that'll frustrate you too. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the way, chicken nuggies. That's your kind of card. Alright, wild librarian. Go for it. Chicken for every meal, yeah. See, Frosty's trying to make fun of me. For not well, eating sauerkraut, but the man could eat chicken for every single meal. Try aioli instead of mayo. I do like aioli. Fresh sauerkraut isn't anything like the smell of shelf stable sauerkraut. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. This was a nice card. Universe has me pull 50 cards for one person. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I painted them on Friday. They're starting to get a little chippy chippy, you know, but I do like the silver. All right, everybody. I think it's that time for me to wrap it up because I do have to get up at five o'clock in the frickin' morning uh, to go to work tomorrow. Hmm. So let's go find somebody to raid. Last time we had too many choices to pick from. We had to do the Wheel of Names. Tonight we have Tarot Mama and Priestess of Wonderland. This is usually what happens. So guess what? Guess what? Thank you, Wild Librarian. You too. We're going to flip the cat coin. You guys know the deal. If it lands on the flowers, it's Tarot Mama. If it lands on the moon, 
It's Priestess of Wonderland. Joe Mama. <laughs> I did get everybody's everything that they had um, asked for, right? I think I did. Okay, we're going to flippity flip. Priestess is good for the moon tonight. Hope the full moon goes well enough for everybody. It's going to go out and eat before class. Okay, here we go. Oh, it did land on the moon. So we're going over to Priestess of Wonderland this evening. Yay. All right. Get ready. Gonna go raid. Priestess of Wonderland. All right. Good night, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me and watch me play Hogwarts. And I'll uh, see ya. Um, Frosty will be doing something Thursday. So I'll probably see you guys then. If not sooner. Good night. Bye-bye, everybody.